If you're a young African graduate looking for an opportunity to study masters abroad, the MasterCAD Innovation and Technology Scholarship is the miracle you've been praying for. It's a fully funded MSE scholarship delivered by the MasterCAD Foundation in partnership with the Arizona State University. Listen, this is the only scholarship we know that pays you back for your cost of English language tests. We'll talk more about that in a second. As a Red Devil myself, having experienced the Phoenix and Tempe campuses of the Arizona State University, I can confirm to you that this is a massive chance for your growth because ASU has been ranked repeatedly number one in innovation, sustainability, and global impact. In this video, we'll cover everything about this scholarship, how to apply step by step, and succeed with your application. Please like, share, subscribe, and would you be really, really kind to invite someone who would need to join us for Progress O'Clock. Starting with the benefit, there's a lot to benefit from this scholarship. First and foremost, it covers all your costs of visa processing. It also covers your cost of English language test. What does this mean? You'll be required to prove your proficiency in English, which is an exam you would take at home that costs you some money. But the money you pay for that exam, this scholarship will pay you back. We're talking MasterCard here. And this is one of the only scholarships that ever pays back the English language test. So don't joke. Cost incurred for program application. If you do need to pay for a fee to apply for the course, even though we'll talk about that later, you don't need to apply for the courses yourself. MasterCard covers that as well. Airfare, which is your flight back and forth from your country to Phoenix, Arizona, which is where you will be staying through the program of your MSc degree. Also, your full tuition fee, books, and any other fees, library fees, all of those fees. Your medical expenses, which you will be insured medically through your master's. You will also have on-campus housing, which is accommodation sorted, and everything else that comes with you getting that master's degree would be catered for. This is truly, truly beautiful. This scholarship seeks to sponsor 120 young African professionals for master's level degree over a period of five years. This year, 30 young scholars will be selected and that should include yourself if you try. Let's talk more about the courses. The courses you can study are on the list here. It ranges from like global technology and development, clean energy systems, modern energy production. If I were you, before selecting any of these courses, I would consider my background and I'll read more about each of the courses by clicking on the link that takes you to the individual website of the courses. There is a video we made about how to choose a befitting MSE course for yourself. That video will be linked right up in the video. This is the ASU dedicated page for global technology and MSE development. You can read more about the description of the course if you still like it. You can read more about you know where the course is going to be taught, the degree requirements, you don't need to worry yourself about this because when you send your official transcripts to the school, they can match the courses you have already taken in your undergraduate to the requirement they're looking for and they'll let you know if it fits. So do not use the apply now button on any of the courses you have chosen because as a MasterCAD Foundation Scholar for this program, the foundation and ASU will process the application to your desired course by themselves. They only need you to cooperate during that period as long as you have sent them the requirement that they need for your course, which would be, you know, your application form, which we'll talk about in a 
couple of minutes, your official transcript, your personal statements. Use the link in the description to reach out for help if you need support with your personal statement. You need two letters of recommendation that if you're applying for this particular course, you need a resume. We can help you rework your resume for purposes like this. The link to get that support is also in the description below. Proof of English proficiency. This is the one we talked about earlier. You need to submit these six documents to the scholarship body as part of your admission requirement. When they look at it and you do qualify for the MasterCard Foundation Scholarship, they will then process the admission on your behalf. But if I were you, I would go to each of the pages of the courses to see if the course fits what I'm really, really looking for. And the eligibility criteria is very straightforward. If you're an African who has graduated from school and a main university and you have a degree or maybe a HND that qualifies you to study for a master's degree, you should still give it a chance, all right? As long as you are below 33 years of age and you are above 18 years, you are almost going to be fine. You should be willing and able to live in the United States, Arizona. It's a beautiful place. Could be kind of hot during the summer, but it's a very, very beautiful place. Phoenix, um, that is. And you must not have started another master's or completed another master's. As long as you're able to do this eligibility thing and make sure you check them well, you will be good. Now let's talk about how to apply. To apply for the 2026 Innovation and Technology Scholarship Program, this is the form you need to fill, the form you are seeing right here on your screen. You go to the bottom of the page, having read all of the details, and hit next. You then start by providing your email address and then the form would load section by section you fill it in make sure you are eligible before you start make sure you have decided on the right course before you start make sure you supply all of those details and information before the deadline that is provided on the website these are the key things and if you need any help use the links in the description to request for coaching we are happy to help and support as many people as possible now if you do not want to fill it online which is the recommended way to actually go about this you can also download the application form it's going to give you a pdf format like this one and using the digital copy on the line digital copy using the digital copy of this pdf form you can edit pdf today right Use your edit PDF to fill in all of these details about yourself and you need to then email your final form, your filled up form to the dedicated email, which is this email on the screen. These are the two ways you can apply for this scholarship. Either you fill the form online by following the link in the description or Using the same link, download the PDF and fill out the PDF, but then do not forget to submit and send your filled PDF to this email address for consideration. Please feel free to ask for help with your personal statements and resume particularly. Also, you need to start chasing your referees because you're going to need letters of recommendation as part of the admission process. Do let me know how this goes. It's a very beautiful opportunity for young people to take advantage of. There is no reason why you shouldn't apply. Best of luck to you as you do apply for this opportunity and make sure you subscribe like this video and share with somebody who can definitely benefit from it share across your network until somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows you is able to benefit from it watch out for more deep dive videos like this one and hit the notification bell so when we drop our top 10 picks of the latest global opportunities you are one of the first people to know about it. It's been your progress mentor, E to the M, to the D to the very, very double E, M, D, T, M, U, and I'll see you in the next video.